think of another one of these. Oh, there. I guess I gotta go all the way to the back so I don't skip. How much I love to jump in that this place. That Pyga guy could still be working for Dorpa. Eh, no chance. Don't worry about it. You seem quite confident. What is your basis for such an opinion? Anyone who likes hot spring buns that much can't be bad. That is no basis at all. 
Well, even if it is a trap, this is the only clue we have to go on. We have no choice but to proceed. Very true. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Listen, when we find the Vile God, don't engage it. I'll activate the Faith Drop Neo, then we should be able to get inside it. And then we find Tiara and save her. I get it. You don't have to keep reminding us. Let's go. Right! If I can find the way to let me put this thing away. Oh, I anything knuckle white. There's a lot of good port though, I can't just pass that up. Try my best to avoid fighting any of these monsters. Yeah. 
This shouldn't have that many turns. There's only two of them. Because of them, they went on a rampage at the human ranch and released all the prisoners. Of course, thanks to all the torture I endured, I wasn't able to move on my own until just recently. They saved your life then. So why would you get in their way and save me? After all, I'm the one who sent you to the human ranch. I don't blame you for that. I earned my way there through my own mistakes. Oh. The whole time I was enduring the torture, I couldn't stop thinking. I thought that if I died there and had the chance to be reborn, I would want to serve you once again. That's my only wish, Lady Mariana. I want to live to serve you and die for your sake. I see. You're quite the masochist, aren't you? That may be. But whatever I am, do you think you could forgive me and allow me to stand by your side once again? Hmm. You said you wished to die for me. Yes. So you are fully prepared to die? Yes. With pleasure. Thank you. In return, you will have the honor of becoming one with me. Do you mean it? If you don't, then it most likely can't be stopped. What do you mean? Follow me. I will explain everything as we walk. Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't suppose that she's talking about giving, giving us some snoo snoo. didn't work, I have no clue.
doors properly. It's my turn. My turn. Here we go. Fire. Fire. Let us be good. Here we go. What's up? Prepare yourself. My turn. What's up? Brace yourself. Let's do this. You don't like crazy. But the last thing by enough potion. Then we stop. You found me, but what do you think you can possibly accomplish now? Last time, the freshly revived Vile God hadn't regained his full power. But it's different now. This time, I'll erase you all! <laughs> Sorry, that's not happening. Harley, now! Got it! Faith Drop Neo, activate! No! Goddess's power again? Vile God! Destroy them! Go now! Into the Vile God's mouth! Okay, here we go! Fools! You leap willingly to your doom. You will be absorbed and die! What's wrong? What's happening? What is this? Did they find some way to safely enter the Vile God? No! It can't be! <gasps> ah, so this is the inside of the Vile God. I thought it would be more gross. Hmm, most fascinating. It probably means that the Vile God is an organism from a dimension other than our own. Or, it may not even be an organism at all. It may be a being of thought, of conceptual entity. Oh, I want to take a sample home with me. It's good that you're dedicated to your research, but please leave that for later. We have no idea how long we have it here. Oh, no worries there. The amazing faith drop is drawing from the goddess's power. There's no time limit on this one. Of course, the vile god may do something from the outside. That's what we should be worried about more than anything. <laughs> Something's coming this way! What are those? They're likely some sort of... 
of defense mechanism meant to remove foreign objects from the body. Think of them like white blood cells. Which means they are the enemy. So all we have to do is cut them down. Let's get this over with. Yeah, we don't have time to waste on these jerks. Let's get rid of them and find Tiara. Show me what you got. Get ready. Here I come. My turn. Here we go. Let us begin. My turn. Is it tough? Sherman, what about over there? I don't see any sign of her. She may already have been dissolved into the vile god. Don't be stupid. She's not the type to bite the big one so easy. You know that. She might seem all innocent, but Tiara's a giant, vulgar, stubborn dumbass. She's still hanging in there. You can count on it. No! An earthquake! It seems to have passed. Like I was saying, we're gonna find that idiot, and when we do, that hag is gonna pay for causing us so much trouble! This way? Hmm... And once again, it's stopped. Is the vile god perhaps on the move? Tiara's got a stupid face! What the heck, Harley? Why did you... Ah! Hmm, I see. I see? What do you see? Tiara's definitely still alive. The Vile God's body is shaking in response to any insults directed at Tiara. Ah, that would make sense. Whatever her form may be, some part of her is still conscious. 
Thinking about it that way, there's still hope. That's a relief. Then we need to hurry. No time for being creepy. Sherman, help me. We have to get her out of there. <sighs> Sherman, what's wrong? Before that, there's something else we must do. What is that? The vile god considers Tiara part of him. And as such, it's protecting her. Unless we can take care of this, rescuing her will be impossible. Here it comes. No, souls. Doesn't matter. I hate blood. Pest control. I can feel the bloodlust. Let's do this. Here I come. My turn. Feel my power surging. Executing my turn. Here I come. Let us begin.
Now it's time to pull Tiara out of there. I already am. Bajas, you grab right there. Got it. Pull on two. One, two. <sighs> Thank goodness. It looks like her lower half is okay. Wow. Well, you know, I don't think we should let the boys see this. Turn around, you guys. What are you talking about? We need to make sure she's okay and... She said don't look! Oh, uh, just stick with me on one side. Focus on something so unimportant. I mean, damn. Oh, my eyes! My... Served you right, pervert! Oh. I just wanted to make sure she was okay, idiot! This is bad. She's not waking up. She's still breathing, but... Respiration and pulse are stable. There are no external injuries. Hey! So what, Sherman gets the look? Of course! He doesn't have an indecent bone in his body! Damn it! I still can't get my eyes to open! Well, at least she's safe for now. There's nothing we can do for her here, so it's about time we got out. Hmm. I suppose it would be a bit presumptuous to try to battle the Vile God right now. Soji, could you carry the young lady? Of course, Pippin. Now just hold on a second. Soji doesn't count either. He's not just looking, he's actually touching her. Soji's a fairy. He doesn't get those kinds of creepy impulses. Correct. I have absolutely no interest in the female body. Okay, sure. But Pippin's... Well, he's... Never mind, I... I don't know what Pippin is, but, but what about Apollonius? He's doing everything he can to keep his eyes closed. Worldly desires be gone. Worldly desires be gone. <coughs> Worldly desires be gone. Worldly de He's surprisingly perverted. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. I'll set our coordinates to a nice, safe distance. And there. Whoa, is there anything you can't do? Never underestimate my sign. Here we go. No, they saved the woman. It can't be. It should have been impossible. Perhaps, Master. But my senses tell me the vile god's power has most certainly lessened. Yes, I know. Damn it. This is bad. I cannot let my plan fall to ruin. Without the awakened vile god's full power, even if I kill Mariana, there's still the problem of dealing with the goddess's power. So, you really were planning to betray me. Traitor! Mariana? Well, I suspected as much. I figured you were merely pretending to serve me. Huh. Of course I was. I'm not the type to kneel before others. Perhaps you're satisfied sitting at the head of Dorfa, but I'm different. I am destined to sit upon the throne of heaven. An entity to be gazed upon in fear and awe. That is how it must be. And for that, you would kill me. So why don't you go ahead and try? After realizing my plan, you actually came to stop me. Only a fool would come here willingly. I could kill you right here and... Zagi. Right. What are you doing? Unhand me! Find peace, Zoggy, and go. You will soon be one with me. Of course. Pathetic worm! Stay out of this! Let go of me. Is that all you can do? Cling to me? Sanguina! Understood, Master. No, 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 little dog. I am your opponent now. Uh. <laughs> your master's gonna die. The vile god's gonna gobble up him and Zagi both. What did you say? But the vile god will absorb you along with me. Then you'll truly suffer. Mariana! Surely you understand. Without one who has inherited the vile god's blood, you won't be able to control it. Unfortunately for you, I already have a solution to that little problem. Now, Zagi, do it! My life belongs to Lady Mariana. If she needs me to die, then I die! Bernard! Die with me! Master! She just jumped in on her own. What an idiot! Zagi, well done. Now the vile god will awaken 
once more. Now, let us become one, and I will rule over everything. Where am I? You remember? You were trapped in the vile god's body. We all came to save you. I had a very long dream. In the dream, I was a thief. And I was using the most horrid language. Thing that Fang would only say. Huh? Does that mean... What the hell? Horrid language? That's a bunch of bullcrap, you skank. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? Fang. We went through a lot of trouble to save you, you know. Don't you have something you'd like to say? Yes, you're right. I'm very sorry to have caused everyone so much trouble. Lord Sherman, don't you think this is kind of strange? Remember how crash she was before she got captured? She may have regained her memories. Since she has the Vile God's blood within her, his power may not have affected her as much. Sort of like how Fang lost his memories at first? That would be my guess. It's possible she got her memories back when we released her from the Vile God's grasp. None of that matters. Tiara is Tiara, that's all. She's still got the soul of a stuck-up, black-hearted harpy inside of her. <gasps> yes, such disparagement. I remember this feeling. Hey, I got news, big news. Hey, Lola, a little overexcited. The vile god is on the move. It looks like he's headed for the dance quite ruins. Everyone in town saw him. The vile god. Why is he on the move all of a sudden? He had quietly slipped out of sight before. Maybe he doesn't feel like he needs to hide anymore. Perhaps he's trying to lure us out. Hmm. Now that he's lost some of his power, maybe his only thought is of battling us. Perhaps he's choosing the spot for the final battle. Once we kill the Vile God, it's happily ever after, right? Now that Tiara's awake, why don't we just go finish him off? Everyone, wait. I want to come with you. Tiara, it's best if you don't push yourself too hard. You clearly haven't fully recovered yet. Besides, if the vile god managed to absorb you again, there's no guarantee that we would be able to rescue you this time. Even so, I can't sit here by myself and do nothing. It's still fuzzy, but I know I'm responsible for this. I want to help. Besides, I too am a fencer. Just let her do what she wants. She won't listen to anything you have to say anyway. All we have left is the weakened vile god. It'll be fine. I hope you're right. If that's settled, let's head to those whatever ruins. Destroy the vile god, revive the goddess, and get our good ending. I'll be front and center at the curtain call, naturally. You guys can all dance around me, and I'll sing. We better start practicing. Don't mess it up, okay? <coughs> Fang my... Oh. Okay, time to head out. Bahas, please take care of the luggage. Harley, just a second. Did you put on clean underwear? Hey, wait! Let us depart, Seguro. Yeah. Do you have your handkerchief, Ethel? And your snacks in case you get hungry? I'm fine. We shall drop the hammer on that villain! Onward, Soji! Yes, Pippin. Let's put an end to... What new products should I start selling once everything gets peaceful again? I'm sorry for making you worry, Kiwi. Let's go, so I can accept my full responsibility. Ryushin, how does the weather look? The weather is clear. No problems expected. Chances of precipitation for the next few days is zero. No need for an umbrella. Well, I'm gonna go on ahead. And this is where the drums kick in. I'm just like that. Uh, I <laughs> Anyway.